Well, hello, I'm back again today with another non-Sudoku puzzle. Um, I found this one on gmpuzzles.com and it looked really interesting and so I wanted to try it and I thought you guys might find it interesting too. Uh, gmpuzzles.com is a great site if you're looking for puzzles, uh, Sudoku puzzles, um, as well as non-Sudokus. There's, you see on the, the left side over here, there's uh, lots of different types of Sudokus. There's number placement, shading, region division. You got Cave and Philomeno and Masayu and Yajulin and Castle Wall and all kinds of stuff. Um, pretty much if I've done a type of puzzle on the channel, it's probably available on gmpuzzles.com. I think we've even done a puzzle from here before, um, but I don't remember which one. But anyways, today I'm looking at Mirror Universe slash Star Battle Relay. Um, this is by Carl Wirth. And uh, it, it's sort of a, a two puzzles in one because you first solve the mirror universe puzzle that's kind of at the top here. And then you use the regions that you find there to do a star battle on um, the second grid. I'm probably just going to kind of do it in the same grid. Um, so I've put this into Penpa. Um, there is an example down here um, of what we're doing. So uh, let's see. I'm going to zoom in on it just a little bit. Make it a little bit bigger. Scroll up. There we go. Okay. So essentially, um, it's like a mirror universe puzzle where uh, the circles, the shaded circles, have to be the center of symmetry um, for a region. Now, normally it's rotational symmetry like this. This So a circle without a line through is rotational symmetry. You'll notice this region right here has rotational symmetry. If you turned it 180 degrees, it would be the same thing. But these other ones with the lines through them have mirror symmetry um, in the direction, you know, along the line. So this one here has a, a line left, right. So it's symmetric top to bottom over that line. These other ones, some of them are diagonally symmetrical. You can see if you flipped it across that line, it would be the same shape. And so you use the symmetry. Um, oh, and the, the, the smaller dots are asteroids, which if an asteroid is in a region it has to be symmetrical in the region so um for example this bottom left corner you'll notice this asteroid here is along the axis of symmetry so it's symmetrical with itself essentially whereas this other region over here these two asteroids are symmetrical with each other um, so uh and, and you also notice that the center of symmetry does not necessarily have to, if it has the line through it, it's not, you know, the center of rotational symmetry as well. It could be at the end here, or like this one down here, this three cell region is a little weird because it's symmetrical top to bottom. So you would just kind of flip it and it would be the exact same three cells. Uh, and then once you get the regions, then you solve it like a normal star battle puzzle with two stars in each region. So that's all the rules that you need. Um, and I've got it in Penba here. I'll leave a link in the description where you can try this puzzle yourself. Um, and I'm going to give it a shot now, and we'll see how it goes. It should be interesting. Let's start our timer over here. All right, so I see lots of these asteroids here. Now, they have to be symmetrical with each other or themselves. So I'm just thinking you could do, let's see, let's do some coloring. It's going to take a little bit to kind of wrap our head around this, I think. So we, we've got these four. You could presumably do something like that, but you would have to have, but only these four in row two could be part of the, you know, kind of rotational symmetry with these four over there. The rest of these are going to have to be, either symmetrical with each other somehow or or with themselves i guess right because well not necessarily so these three i mean you could end up with something like this and these three would be symmetrical with these three down here flipping across that that's a possibility but these two can't be symmetrical with these or these. So I'm not sure. 
Not sure where those are going to be. Okay, so anyways, let's see. Well, we know these two have to be in the same region, obviously. Um, now, anything we do at the top, we have to do at the bottom as well. Uh, let's see. What else can we say? The problem is some of these other ones, like this one could just be the one cell. It doesn't necessarily have to have, I mean, it could have other stuff like this or, you know, but it, it, it could just be itself. What can this one do? Because it can't go to the left or up and, and it's symmetric. So it could go to the right. It can't go down and it can't go up. Let's see, I'm going to draw some edges in. There we go. So it can't go to the left, it can't go up, and therefore it can't go down. It can only go to the right. And really it could go kind of almost anywhere over here. I mean, theoretically it could go all the way over there. Because it's just symmetrical, you know, with it, uh, vertical symmetry. But it doesn't have to go over. It could just be the one cell by itself. Okay, what about this one down here? If it... Okay, so this one could go up. It would have to go over, but then it would have to stop. It couldn't go one more because it would need another uh, black dot to be symmetrical to this one. But we don't know that it has to go over. Now this one here has to be rotationally symmetric. So for example, that cell couldn't be part of it because it would have to have a, a another dot over here because it's rotational symmetry. So that one can't be red. Could be yellow. Can't be blue. Um, it could be green yes it could be green so this one could be yellow or green let's see i need to color some of these in so we can start to figure this out so this green okay let's think about this one right here so this can't be yellow right because it would have to have uh, a black dot right down here. It can't be red because it would have to have a black dot down here 180 degrees away. So can it be green? No, it can't be it can't be part of green. Oh this uh, yeah yeah this gray one up here. The gray one can it be green? Uh I mean yeah actually it could because that would match up with that one. I mean you'd have to do something wild and crazy like that. But that's potentially possible. So this could be green. I don't think it could be orange, could it? Let's see. Uh, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's up seven over three. So we'd have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, no, no, it can't be. It can't be part of orange. So it can't be red, can't be blue, can't be yellow. So far green is our only option. Uh, it can't be orange. Let's see, I'm gonna do, can't be a part of this one up here. Could it be part of this one? Nope, can't be part of this one because you'd have to have a, a symmetrical one off to this, off the grid over here. What about over here? Nope. Can it be this one? No. So the only one it can be part of is green? Is that right? Can't be red. Can't be blue. Can't be orange. Can't be yellow. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah, so I think that one actually has to be green which makes that green because I don't see how it could be part of 
any other no it, it's got to be green okay now so now the question is how do those connect to this because these these two can't be green because you would need black dots over here so it's got to come up through here through this dot but then the question becomes where do these two fit in Because they can't be part of, well, this one could be orange. This one could be orange if it grabbed this one over here. But this one can't. This one can't be orange. So that one, that one could be yellow, though, actually. Oh, that would be interesting, wouldn't it? Because these could both be yellow. You know, if you had something like this or those or, you know, some, someone like this. And then green could actually come up and over the top. That's crazy. Okay, so that could be yellow. That gray one could be yellow. What else could it be? Can't be green. Can't be orange. Can't be blue. And because green has to connect somehow up here, none of these other regions can kind of get in there to get to this gray one. So that one has to be that one has to be yellow, which means this is yellow, which means the green has to come up and over the top. Because there's no other way for the green to get up here without going through the yellow somehow. So this has to be yellow. And now we don't really know. The yellow could go here. It could go here. It, it could do both. We don't really know which. But now the question becomes, where does this one go? And I think it's got to go with the red, right? Down to here. Yeah, there's nothing else that's going to be able to pick that one up. So that's got to be part of the red, which means this is part of the red. It's rotational symmetry. Now, the orange... Yeah, the orange is going to have to pick up this one, which means it's got this one. So we got to do that. And it's going to have to have this corner, because there's nothing else the corner could be part of. And that is... Well, and, and so the orange could go one more... But it might not. We don't know yet. And that might determine how the yellow goes. All right. Now let's look at this dot right here, this light gray. Um, so it can't be part of the red. Can't be part of the green. Can't be part of the orange. Could be blue. Yeah, it's going to have to be blue, isn't it? Because, again, all of these galaxies over here can't get through the red to the other side. So that's going to have to be blue. So there's our blue region. Let's draw the border in there. Okay. Now, what do we do next? Um, so, the green. I mean, the green has to just go straight up, I think. Because. Now, okay. I think the green has to come straight up here because of the red. There's no other way. Now, it could also go, you know, it could do something like that, potentially if the yellow doesn't take these cells. But it's going to have to go up through that middle, no matter what. So it's got to do that. Now it could, we could get one more cell up at the top of there too, potentially. Okay, so the red... It's got to continue up. Hold on, I gotta pause and let the dog out. So, let's see, let's look at this, this one right here. So it's gotta be orange, blue, or red. Cause those are the only ones it can touch. It could be orange, can't be red, it can't be blue. Oh, actually, 
You know what? I think we prematurely drew some edges in here because actually these could both be part of blue and that would still work for the blue. Or this could be orange, but it can't be red. We know that much because it would have to have a red one up here and it can't, so. Let's see, what else do we know? Okay, so like we said before, these four could fit with these four. What if they didn't? What if this was not part of that one? Let's see. What? It can't be part of this one, because it would have to have another black dot over here. There's no way it could be part of this one down here. It can't be this. It can't be in the red, because there's an orange down here where it would have to go. There's no way it can be part of this one or the gray one here. No. So that's got to be part of. Uh, let's see. What color should we make that? Let's go, let's go with orange again. It's far enough away from the other orange that I don't think we'll get it confused. So we'll make that orange. So it's got to be part of that orange. Now, can we say the same thing for this one? No. This one could actually be part of this, couldn't it? Potentially, something like that. So it's not necessarily part of the orange. But let's look at this one. What could this one be part of? It can't be, now you might say it could be part of this one, right, with this, but that's going to isolate the orange in the middle here. It needs to have rotational symmetry, and so it, it's, yeah, it, it just wouldn't work, because it would have to, the, the orange would have to come out this way, and then it's not going to be rotationally symmetric. So actually, uh, this gray one here can't be part of this top region. Can it be part of this dark gray region? No, you would need a, an asteroid or a black dot right down here. Now, it could be part of this one. That's a possibility. Okay, so that one's not necessarily orange. Could be orange. All right, how about, let's look at this one instead. This one can't be part of the dark gray. Can't be part of this this one here that we haven't colored yet. It can't be part of the orange, obviously. It can't be part of this top one. No way it could be red. Uh, the only thing it can be a part of is this corner one, which we're going to make yellow. Okay, so those have to be yellow, so we're going to have to come up there. Now, this, this dot here could be with the yellow, but it could also be with the dark gray. I don't think we know that yet. But the yellow can't go any farther up this way. It could go here, though as long as it has that corner there, that dot there. So we know that much so far for the yellow. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? Let's make this one up at the top blue here. Now, is there any, is there any way that these aren't orange? If those two weren't if that's not orange, what's it going to be? This one here. Because, you know, orange could come do something like this. But then what's this going to be part of? It can't be red. It can't be anything over here. It can't be this one. It could be that one, but again, now we've we've messed up the orange if this loops up and down here. So it can't be the blue. It can't be the dark gray can't be yeah so that's got to be orange it's the only thing it could be is orange so these have to be orange we still don't know for sure if the orange goes here or there or maybe both but now we can ask the question what can this one be because now that the orange is kind of blocked this corner off everything up here has to be either orange or blue because there's nothing else it can connect to. You could have a green up here, but it, it would need something on the other side, so it can't be green. So all of these up here have to be either orange or blue. So this cell here can't be blue, it's gotta be orange. This cell can't be blue, it's gotta be orange. But now all of those could be blue at the top. But, what about the bottom? Can this, what would this be? This can't be, this one, 
Can't be red. Could be orange. Could it be the dark gray? No, it can't. And it can't be the yellow. So that has to be orange, doesn't it? So that means that one's orange. Now, what about this? Yeah, see, these two here could potentially be part of these other ones. They don't have to be orange. And they could also be part of the, the blue up here or the orange at the top. So, okay. Now, what about this cell? What's this one? Because it can't be orange. It could be green. Could it be red? No, because it would match up with this blue one down here. So, yeah, so it has to be green. There's nothing else it could be. It's got to be green, which is going to force the yellow to come down here. And that means we have to have orange up here and over there, which which means that that is the, the complete blue. Now, oh, the green now has to continue over here because the yellow can't. It doesn't have a symmetric one at the top, so we gotta do the symmetry for the green. And now, this cell right here is gonna have to be, I mean, it's clearly gonna be blocked by the red from you know anything on the right side. So it's gotta be, it can't be green, it's gotta be red. It doesn't have any choice but to be red because it can't be green or blue. So that's gonna be red, which makes this red. And now we've got the same problem with all of these in here. They're going to be blocked by the, you know, if the red just went here, these three would be blocked by the red. And it would, they would have to be green, but they can't be green because there would be no symmetrical counterpart. So these all have to be red, which means those all have to be red. That forces us to fill those in as red. Now, uh, let's do... How about... Purple? We don't have any purple yet. This one's purple. So now we can look at this cell down here. What would this one be? It can't be red because we we need a red up there. It can't be yellow because we'd have to have a black dot over here. It can't be the dark gray. It can't be orange. But yeah, it's got to be part of the purple. So that's going to force that. It's got to come up here. And now, again, they've got to have these because it could potentially, you know, do something like this, but then what would those be part of? They would have to be part of the the purple. So that's going to have to all be purple, which then means that this one up here can't be orange, so it has to be blue, which forces that one to be blue. And these have to be blue, which then means that this dot here can't be orange, because it would have to have an orange up there. So this one has to be part of the dark gray. like that and then we just have to finish off uh so the, these all have to be gray then because they can't be anything else which makes these gray and leaves the last two to be purple so i think that is the solution to the mirror galaxies section of the puzzle now we need to do the star battle. So let me draw in our regions here. Erase the color. There we go. That worked. Perfect. Okay, so we erase the color. Now we have our regions, so we can do star battle. And I'm going to use colors for the star battle. So uh, let's do blue for our stars. Okay. So, uh, so we know that we've got to have two stars down here. And uh, oh, just a refresher quick on star battle. Um, stars, you have to have two stars in each region, row, row, column, and region. And they can't touch another star uh, orthogonally or diagonally. So since there's a, a star right here, you couldn't put another star right there, for example. So that's why I'm marking the green is like the not star sections. Um, now it's hard. We got to stop thinking symmetrical now because I immediately wanted to say, "Oh, these are green, so we have to put green up there." <laughs> so let's see. Well, down here. Oh, okay, right. And we've got those are in the same row, so we can block out that whole row. So now, interesting. So we've got. 
some some limited stuff going on here. So this region here has to have both of its stars in this first row, so we or first column, so we can block out the rest of that column. But also, you know, we we could put two here potentially. Otherwise, if one of them is there, hmm. So over here, we've kind of got the same type of thing. We could put we could put two stars here. But if we don't put two, put them that way, then you can only have one over here, which would force one up there. You could put two here, but if they aren't right there, then you could only have one in those three, which would put one down here, which is going to affect that both of them are kind of affecting each other. Now, I want to say that you can't put a star right there, but I, can we say that? No, we can't say that because you could do one here, another one, you know, maybe over here and up there, and you could still do your two up, up there. So, yeah. Can't quite say that yet. But we've now forced this region to have all of its stars in column two. So we can block out one more up there. Let's see, what else can we do? This one doesn't quite have all of them in that one column yet. So, hmm. well, right, so we do know that there's one in one of these three over here. So this one, no matter where you put the star in those three, it's going to eliminate that cell. So we can do that one. Now we've got two, three, five cells up there. I'd like to limit that by one more, and then we'd have two dominoes, which would be nice. That would eliminate quite a bit. We can't quite do that yet. Now we can only have one in column three here because we've already got one in column three. So one of them is going to have to be up here, which is going to rule out that cell. And in fact, exactly one because there not only can we only put one in column three, we have to put one in column three. So there's going to be exactly one up here. But, right, right, okay, so, right, we, we, we're we going to have exactly one in this uh, L shape area up here. Uh, let's make it yellow. So there's one in the yellow. We have a, a star down here. So in these columns four and five, we've got two stars so far. We need four in two columns. So there has to be two in, you know, these two columns here, which means we can rule out those three. And now we're going to get dominoes up here. We have to have a star in each of those dominoes, which is going to rule out all of these cells on either side. And that's going to give us a star right there. It's going to rule out those. Now, one, so in rows one and two, we've got one, two, Hmm. We could put two more over here, I was, so we can't we can't force one there. But we also can't rule out that one because we don't have to have two over here. I don't think we definitely have one in this red right here, which is going to give us one in this kind of, I guess, double H region is what I'm going to call it. So. Two in here, two there, one there, two, three. Okay, so, hmm. Well, r right, so we need at least one up here, because we can only put one in that orange. There's at least one up there. Oh, but we could, but, but again, we could put one in the orange, so. No, no, okay, right. I think I see. Okay, so if. If you use the orange in this top region, here, top right region, if if you use the orange in that region, then it's going to force the other star to be here. Because we already have two in row one. And if it's not in there, if that's if it's the bottom half of the orange, then you'd have to have two over here 
in in this yellow area. You would need two stars in there. And you can only put one in that top row, which is going to force one down here, which is going to rule out the top row. So yeah, so you have to have one right there is what I'm saying. Ultimately, what I'm saying is that has to be a star, which means this has to be the second star in that region. This one obviously cannot be a star anymore. These cannot be stars. Now we've only got one spot left in row two. Uh, row three only has two options. And now we're starting to really run out of space here. Now, oh, no, we've already got one in this region. So we need one more in these three here. We need one more in these three. And we need one more in these three. Ah, but one in these three means we can rule out that cell, which gives us a domino here, ruling out that cell. So let's color in our dominoes there. We also need one in those three. Uh, there's got to be one in one of the two oranges to finish off this uh, double H region. So we can rule out both of those because both of those cells touch each of the oranges. Let's see, what else can we do? Okay, we need, uh, we need two stars in, in this column here, and they're both gonna be in that same region, so we can rule out the other cell in that region because both of its stars have to be in that column, which now means, hmm, what does it mean? <laughs> Two, three, four, six, yeah, that's right. So, hmm. Ah, yeah, right, right, right. So we know one of the two oranges is a star, but only one of the two oranges is a star. So the other star in row four has to be right here. Gives us that one. Uh, unfortunately, it, it'd be almost better if it was the bottom one because it would give us the location of the stars in a couple other places here. It would rule out some this yellow here. But it has to be there. Now, where? Hmm. So we know there's two in here. One there, one there. So there has to be one. Let's do. Let's do red. There has to be one in one of the two reds. Right, okay, yes. So we need, so we could have a star in this yellow, but we would need at least one of these two reds to be a star. But actually, the question is, can both of those reds be a star? If the yellow was not in that row, can both of those reds be stars? And the answer is no, because it would rule out both of the oranges. So in fact, only one of the reds can be a star, so this must be a star which finishes off that column and this region. So one of the reds is a star and one of the oranges is a star. And they're kind of, they're gonna be opposites. It's either gonna be the left orange with the right red or the left red with the right orange. But I don't think we know, I'm not seeing how to know which of those is which yet. Okay, so. That's a star. Then, yeah, okay. So there's definitely one in these three. There's definitely one in, so there's definitely one in these three. There's definitely one in kind of this region, in those three rows in this region. Two, three, The fourth 
wait, there needs to be six. Right, we need to have six stars in those three rows. Got one for sure, two for sure, three for sure. Two, four. We could have as much as seven, eight possibilities, I guess, because you could have two here, two here, two in here, one there, one there. So that's eight. So the question is, which ones do we not do? Okay, right. So we definitely, uh, we definitely have. Um, let's see, what color should we use? Let's use yellow again. There's definitely a star in one of these two yellows, because if they're both in the bottom row, then it's these outside two, and. If they're not those two, then one of them is right up here. So there's definitely one in one of those two yellows. Um, and there's definitely one in this orange or red. So we can rule out those two. We can also say that there's definitely one in one of these two, because we can't use both the yellows. Because you have to have one in this red-orange pair up here. So there's definitely one in red, definitely one in the yellows. One, two, three. Right, okay. So let's look at the, uh, let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight, columns eight and nine. In columns eight and nine, we already have one star, this blue up here. There's, oh, but there's not two because we could have one in the red. Oh. I was going to say there's two stars in this region here in those two columns, but the red is a possibility. There's definitely one in this red down here. So we've got two stars for sure in those two columns, but we could have one in here and that orange, or we could have two in here and not use that orange. Right. So, hmm. So, how do we how do we determine this last little bit? I feel like we're almost done. We just we just got a little Last couple stars to place. And I'm not seeing how to figure out the last couple stars. Okay, so, hmm. Got a way to do it. One there. If it's if if you have the orange, then you would have this red. You would only have one more in here. If you didn't have that orange, you had this orange and this red over here, you would need two in here. So it'd be one. So you'd have kind of two dominoes here. Okay, so... We know there's one in the red, right? Is it possible? Is it possible for this one to be a star? Is what I'm wondering. 
you'd have these two. You'd have to have that yellow up there. You'd have to have both of these. So that would finish off this row. Hmm. I'm just not seeing it. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to, I'm just going to, I don't like to do this, but I'm going to do it because I'm not seeing how to, how to, how to solve it otherwise. It's going to force that, this, uh, here. So now you can only put one here. So this has to be, this has to be. Right, and so that won't work. So that breaks because you've got a domino here and a domino here, and they can't be next to each other. There's probably a better way to find that. That was definitely a bifurcation way of finding it, but um, I don't know. I just wasn't seeing another way to do it. So we still don't really know. So we know there's at least one in the yellow here, but we still don't know the red and orange which way they go, do we? So we do know there's one in one of these two corners. So it's either this one with the corner or it's this one with both of those. So If we go here where the dot is, hmm. Okay, well, there's either, right, so there's either this, this yellow three, there's either one at the top and the bottom, or there's one in the bottom two and one in this red. So either way, that one's out, because there has to be one in this red or yellow here. So really there's, right, and again, there's these two or one down here. So we've really got two dominoes here is what we've got. Uh, so we can also green out that one. Okay, and so now this has to be a star, this has to be a star, because it's the only ones left in the column. It's going to give us all of those. These two now have to be stars. This is not... Uh, there has to be one in one of these two, so that is going to roll out that one. It's going to give us that, roll out these, those. That finishes off this row, and we have two spots left in the row, and that is going to be the final answer. Um, let me know what you thought of that. I thought that was a lot of fun. It was pretty neat making the regions and then using the regions solve another puzzle uh, i've done similar kinds of things with puzzles in puzzle hunts before um and that's really cool that's and i know it's not easy to make something like that so very nice uh if you saw a better way to figure out that spot where i got stuck kind of at the end um, i'm sure there's a more logical way to to see it um i just wasn't seeing it <laughs> so let me know what you thought if you were able to solve it if you um if you figured out a better spot for the end there and uh that was uh, Mirror Universe Star Battle Relay by Carl, by Carl Worth. So thank you, Carl. That was a fun puzzle. I enjoyed that. I uh, hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.